70s-era aviator shades, oversized skirts, and bold necklaces from the 2000s, Meghan Markle may be a fashion icon, but there were plenty of times when her wardrobe needed an update. There was a time when skinny jeans were a key staple in any self-respecting fashionista's wardrobe. This was a trend that largely dominated the 2010s. For a long time, it seemed like this was one trend that wouldn't die. But then Gen Z grew up and told us that skinny jeans were out of style. Ugh, these skinny jeans are too skinny. Meghan Markle, however, decided not to pay any attention to the rally against her beloved denim and continued to wear them well into the 2020s. When attending the Invictus Games in 2022, Meghan could be seen wearing a pair of denim blue skinny jeans with pumps and a white blazer. While the Duchess looked flawless, the skinny jeans may have lost her points with her Gen Z fans for being a tad too old school. We first saw oversized tailoring take hold in the 80s, but in full 2022, it hit the runway again. Baggy blazers and loose-fitting pants were all the rage, bringing with it a sort of edgy office chic culture that we could get behind, at least in 2023. Meghan appeared to hop on this trend in 2024, but it seems she was too late. She appeared on stage at South by Southwest for a panel celebrating International Women's Day wearing a $2,000 silk outfit by Juliva Heritage. The beige pinstripe shirt and skirt hung off her body, and while the look wasn't totally unappealing, it wasn't very of the moment either. Nude or beige dresses have been popular for years, reaching their peak popularity in the 2010s. It's a look that doesn't seem to die, despite dividing many fashion pundits. In November of 2023, Meghan wore a nude dress to Variety's Power of Women gala. The dress, part of Proenza Schooler's Resort 2024 collection, cascaded down to the floor. The simpleness of it was one thing, but the colour screamed dull. Meghan Markle has worn outfits that just weren't that flattering, but this short suit number isn't one of them. There's no denying that the Duchess of Sussex looked beautiful at the Invictus Games in 2023. Nevertheless, Meghan would have been better off leaving this outfit, a simple black tank paired with linen shorts and matching oversized blazer, on the hanger. If you Google the term short suits, you'll find a plethora of results, but most of them hail back to the mid-2000s, well before Meghan was even on Prince Harry's radar. Indeed, there is just something a little off about seeing a Duchess wearing something that is both formal and casual at the same time. Aviator sunglasses have largely stood the test of time, first becoming popular throughout the 70s and 80s. I've been wearing these since I've been 15 years old. Like many famous faces, Meghan has been known to don a pair from time to time. The problem? They aren't the most fashionable shades in this day and age. While aviators had a great resurgence in 2017, they have since dropped off in popularity. So when Meghan donned her gold frame shades at the Invictus Games in 2022, she was a few years too late. We would love to see the Duchess take a risk and put the aviators in the draw for a while so she can make best dress lists with her eyewear alone. The Duchess of Sussex has been known to wear a halter neck top or dress on more than one occasion, which is interesting as it doesn't exactly fit the royal family dress code. This is a tricky trend, most notably because it comes in and out of favour more frequently than some other looks. At the 2023 Invictus Games reception at the Hilton Hotel in Dusseldorf, Germany, Meghan wore a black version that treads the line between formal and workwear. However, the last time that halters were on vogue was two years prior in 2021, meaning Meghan was a little behind when it came to peak popularity. Just a few short years ago, we couldn't get enough of midi dresses. They were everywhere you looked, from the runway to the hallowed halls of high schools across the world. While they certainly make for a striking silhouette in some cases, it seems that this once popular dress style is on its way out. However, at the 2023 Invictus Games, Meghan was pictured wearing a colour-blocked midi dress. Though the garment may have looked relatively simple, it was by famed designer Carolina Herrera. This look wasn't her most on-trend ensemble, and we have to admit that it isn't one of our favourites on the Duchess as it swamps her figure, despite being pulled in at the waist. Thankfully, she has gone on to embrace better silhouettes. Meghan has been breaking the royal rules when it comes to fashion since exiting Britain in 2020. The Duchess of Sussex appears to be taking some control back and taking risks she previously wouldn't have with her style choices. Just felt like, well, let's just look like a rainbow. Typically, royal figureheads are expected to dress flawlessly and conservatively, which leaves little room for modern fashion trends. With that being said, Meghan seems to be a little out of touch at times. While appearing on stage at the Invictus Games opening ceremony the same year she and Prince Harry exited the firm, Meghan wore an off-the-shoulder top and a Cartier statement necklace reportedly worth roughly $15,000.
The royal family, including Meghan, are no strangers to wearing expensive jewels, but it's usually for a lavish occasion like a coronation or a wedding. While this Cartier gem might be expensive, it also resembled a statement necklace from the 2000s. If you lived through the 2000s, you'll remember just how popular big, bold necklaces really were. No outfit was complete without one, whether it be oversized beads, multiple layers, or a choker. These days, jewelry seems to have taken a more understated turn, with many favoring simple chains with a sweet pendant or subtle earrings that offer just the right hint of glam. Meghan herself is usually a part of this movement, so to see her step out of bounds was both interesting and a little confusing.